But today what we're doing, we're bringing power to to Bristol. Uh, over the last couple of years, we've been dabbling in, in the areas and trying to get a venue sort of like. We knew there were players and people wanted to take part in it. So today, as you can see, we brought 12 chairs down, coaches down. We're working very closely with the Bristol Rovers Trust, who were, who were uh, helping fund this and got coaches down as well. Um, and we're trying to gonna make a team in Bristol. Um, we're going to call it the, the Bristol Rovers uh, Proud Football Club. And as you can see, we've got 10 people in there already training. We've got four, four people coming down. And we just get the people used to power chair football. Um, so this is a sport for people with severe disabilities. Um, most of them can't propel themselves in a, in a day chair and they need a mechanical chair. Uh, and this is the only team sport they can play. There are boxer and, and other sports around, but this is the only competitive team sport they can play in the UK. I, I think the first thing we'll be doing is setting up more sessions like this. Uh, Bristol Rovers do want to get involved more with us. They want to have some coaches who, who are learning the, the power of football. Um, I think they will develop their coaches going through their, their courses at Bristol Rovers as well. Uh, and it'll just be a, a big happy family. I mean, we would we will bring at the moment our expertise, but we're slowly trying to transfer it over to the guys in Bristol. And hopefully Bristol will manifest into their own club. Uh, and Bristol Rovers will play competitive power football. Uh, I could see within two seasons them playing competitive league football. So yeah, it's a big thing for both of us, both GBG and Bristol Rovers. We've run the charge now, this is our third year. Uh, it never ceases to amaze me. The guys for the first time in the chair, suddenly they can spin, kick a ball and score a goal. You look at their faces afterwards, a smile from ear to ear, that's what makes it worthwhile.